Grudel Linux is straight up fire. The interface looks so cool. I want to use it all the time. I started using it for about a day. I'm just going to go over some the basics with you that you see in the interface since that's kind of the point of what I want to get at here. Obviously, there's a lot to Linux, but for Garuda, the thing that stands out is how great it looks. So we got a menu in the upper left corner here. It's got different categories like you'd expect to see in KDE. On the bottom of the screen, you've got a dock that has some icons. Here's Fire Dragon. It's the default web browser that comes built in which I believe is a modified Firefox. The file manager is called Dolphin. Looks pretty cool. It's got all the categories on the left. You can see these icons are multicolored and look nice. There's a system monitor here. Obviously, you can use the command line to run the top command, but this is going to give you a graphical outlook on your hardware usage and other vital stats in the computer. The system settings is here. I think it looks neatly organized. You got all the categories on the left side. You can click something like appearance. It'll give you subcategories. Snapper Tools is a program that allows you to set snapshots from different points in time after you've made changes to your computer and installed software. So if something doesn't really take, you can always roll back to a different snapshot time. This is what it looks like. The way to get through these different snapshots if you want to load one is actually through the boot menu in Grub when you're rebooting or starting up. The package manager in Garuda Linux is called Octopi. Pretty straightforward. Like whatever you want to install, you can search for. Say I wanted to install Chrome, I could right click it and click install. The command line looks pretty cool. The terminal is uh, using a fish shell. If you need to in a pinch, you can always type in bash into the command line and press enter and get to a bash shell. And when you're done with that, just type fish again and get to a fish shell. You can click on this to get the welcome screen. It's going to have different basic functions that you can access. Garuda assistant shows you some basic functions. You can do system update here. You can, you can remove orphans from dependencies and so forth. You can reset config defaults, other options here, settings, system specs. One thing that confuses me under settings is it says default shell is bash, but when you open up the terminal, it's by default in a fish shell. So I don't really know what's up with that. That's the one quirky thing I came across. But other than that, this just works. It's... You know, install and go. So yeah, that's the basic rundown of the interface, just a quick one. Maybe if I have some time, I'll learn more about this system and we'll make some more videos about it.